Arya Stark, niece of your Lady Lysa Arryn. Then I offer my condolences. Lady Arryn died three days ago. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kev. One of the many things that makes the show Game of Thrones and the book series A Song of Ice and Fire so special is the character development. George and Dan and Dave could take any number of these characters off by themselves and make him or her the main characters of a side story, and it would work. Now I wouldn't go that far with the character that I'm going to describe in this video, Sandor's Horse, which is blasphemously named Stranger after one of the seven faces in the Faith of the Seven. The Stranger represents death and the unknown, and leads the dead to the other world. Most people don't pray to the Stranger, and when they do, it's usually because they want someone to die. There are a dozen or so horses that have names in A Song of Ice and Fire, but the reason I'm doing this video is because, well first of all, anything that adds to the Hound story is awesome in my book. But also, the Hound's horse, Stranger, and Daenerys' horse, known as the Silver, are both referenced a handful of times in the books, that they deserve some acknowledgement. The scenes with Arya and Sandor are phenomenal. The writers, producers, and the actors were all on point. These are arguably some of the best scenes in the show. These scenes have many layers, and undeniably, the dynamic between Arya and Sandor is one of the best of any duos that we've seen. So when we watch these scenes, it's easy to not even think about that beautiful black horse, because Arya and Sandor have so much gravity of their own. But once you know the backstory on this special horse, Stranger, these scenes become slightly cooler. There are going to be spoilers from the books, specifically related to a subplot that is similar to the scenes we see in Season 6, Episode 7, The Broken Man, so close out now if you don't want to hear that. Sandor's horse was a, quote, big black stallion. Before Sandor kidnaps Arya from the Brotherhood Without Banners, he came back to their camp demanding the money that the Brotherhood confiscated from him. Some of the brothers want to kill him, but Beric says, quote, Kagane won his life beneath the Hollow Hill. I will not rob him of it. My lord is wise, Thoros told the others. Brothers, a trial by combat is a holy thing. You heard me ask Rolor to take a hand, and you saw his fiery finger snap Lord Beric's sword, just as he was about to make an end to it. The Lord of Light is not yet done with Joffrey's hound, it would seem. So instead of ordering his brothers to kill Sandor if he follows them, Beric says, If you see Clegane sniffing after us, kill his horse. That's a good horse, Angai protested. Aye, said Lem. It's the bloody rider we should be killing. We could use that horse. Fast forward and Sandor does return, and he kidnaps Arya. The Brotherhood took his money. But if he can ransom Arya back to her family, he figures he could earn even more than he earned from winning the Hands Tourney. Early in their travels, Arya would bite Sandor and try to kill him. But he's human, he can't stay awake all day every day. He's gotta sleep. Quote, half the time, he slept in the saddle now, trusting his stallion to follow whatever rutted farm track or game trail they were on. The horse was a heavy courser, almost as big as Destrier, but much faster. Stranger, the hound called him. Arya had tried to steal him once when Kagame was taking a piss against a tree thinking she could ride off before he could catch her. Stranger had almost bitten off her face. He was gentle as an old gelding with his master, but otherwise he had a temper as black as he was. She had never known a horse as quick to bite or kick. In war, they were a weapon, like the men who rode them. When the Hound and Arya get to the Trident, they need to cross in order to continue their journey. The river is dangerous. Upstream at River Run, the river is peaceful. But down here, the current is wild. As they cross on a pole boat, one dude actually falls overboard and presumably he dies. Moreover, when they finally get to the other side, they are two miles downstream, but check this out. As they board the pole boat, quote, one of the boatmen reached for a stranger's bridle. I wouldn't, Clegane said as the horse kicked. The man leapt back, slipped on the rain slick deck, and crashed onto his arse cursing. Fast forward a little bit, and we get the Red Wedding. The book version of the scene's pretty cool. I'll make a separate video narrating those two scenes, the pole boat ride and Arya and Clegane's fight against the phrase outside the Red Wedding, so hit subscribe if you want to see that. Later in their journey, Sandor and Arya run into some of Gregor's men. They win the fight, like they do in the show, but in the book, Sandor's dying. He begins to fall off his horse, and eventually he doesn't try to get back onto his horse. He asks Arya to kill him, but she refuses to give him the gift of mercy. Fast forward to book four, and Brienne is out looking for the Hound. Septim Maribald, which is one of the two characters that the show character Rey is loosely based off of, leads Brienne and Podrick to a place called the Quiet Isle. She notices a gravedigger that is taller than she is. Most likely, this is the Hound, but book readers will have to wait for the next book to get confirmation on that. So they pit stop at the Quiet Isle. When they put their horses in the stables, we learn this, quote, At one end were a dozen mules. Way down at the far end, well away from the other animals, a huge black stallion trumpeted at the sound of their voices and kicked at his stall. Sir Hyle gave the horse an admiring look as he was handing his reins to Sir Gillum. A handsome beast. Brother Norbert sighed. The seven sent his blessings and the seven sent his trials. Handsome he may be but Driftwood was surely whelped in hell. When we sought to harness him to a plow, he kicked Brother Ronnie and broke his shinbone in two places. We had hoped Gelding might improve the beast's ill temper, but... Brother Gillum, will you show them? 
Brother Gillum lowered his cowl. Underneath, he had a mop of blonde hair, a tonsured scalp, and a bloodstained bandage where he should have had an ear. You got it. The stranger bit off his ear. So that's Stranger, the Hound's war horse. He's almost as big as the prize Destriers, but much faster. He is quicker to kick and bite any horse that Arya has ever seen. And once I upload the video of the fight outside the Red Wedding, you'll get to see him in action. The horse is a badass, just like Sandor. In the books, they are presumably still together, assuming that the Gravedigger is, in fact, the Hound. But in the show, I don't know what happened to Stranger. We last see him in Season 4, Episode 7, but then in Episode 8, the Hound and Arya are traveling by foot to the Vale. If I had to guess, they left the horses somewhere or sold them off screen because the path to the Vale may have been too burdensome for a horse. If anyone has any other information, please let me know in the comments section. You should have let me burn it. It's the flea bite. That flea bite's got you walking a lot slower than you used to. But I'm a dreamer. This is a reunion that I hope to see in Season 7 because there's literally no better horse than Stranger to help in the war versus the undead army. In the Season 7 promo pick, the Hound is riding what looks to be a chestnut courser. Stranger is black, so it's definitely not him, which is upsetting. Thank you to the Bridge 4 patrons for sponsoring this episode. The newest members of the production team are Mary, Brianne Kennedy, and Oliver Haney. You probably recognize Brianne as the wizard who enlightened me on the Sand Sand Theory. Stay tuned for part 2 of that, which I hope to get out sometime within the next week or two, while part 1 is still fresh in our minds. With that said, that's it for this one. Alright, this is Kev. Take care, guys.